America has its two-party system. In Israel, two new parties are seemingly formed every day now. That makes a side-by-side -side comparison feel like apples and sambars. But you can definitely find some familiar themes at play. Start with the major players. Donald Trump and Benjamin Netanyahu didn't become fast friends for nothing. How about Ted Cruz and Naftali Bennett, ideological champions of the right, so far unable to draw outside their narrow bases? Nikki Haley and Ayelet Shaked, conservative champions both seen as potential future heads of government. Joe Manchin and Yair Lapid, stuck in the middle, taking it from both sides. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Tamar Zandberg, the progressives that the center-left probably wishes would go away. And that's possibly chief among the common themes, the extreme factions tugging at the center and the center always trying to prove its ideological bona fides. If you look at in, in the previous election in 2015, the political platforms on the Palestinian issue of the largest party in the center-right, the Likud, the largest party in the center, left labor, and the largest party that builds itself purely centrist, Yeshatid, uh, they were virtually identical. And so I think that in Israel, there's been a trend to go away from the extremes. Israel's two biggest political parties historically are Labour and Likud. Likud can be equated with today's Republican Party, nationalists focused on big economic numbers and the clear winner of votes when it comes to Israel's Jewish poor. Labour's identity looks like today's Democratic Party. Both present themselves as fighting for the disaffected in society and instead get pegged as the parties of the elites. In fact, Labour did not win any of Israel's poorest 100 cities or towns in the last election. But while America's demography is increasingly skewing blue, Democrats have lost one presidential popular vote since 1988, Israel's is heading red, and labor is sinking as a result. That's left other, newer parties to come in and fill the gap, and none of them will put up with being branded as leftist, the kiss of death in Israeli politics.